all right so today we're going to talk about solubility that's totally related to chemistry right so solubility now so mainly we're gonna dig with two types of solubility so two types first one the first one accounts with a solid let's take it as a and a liquid let's take the liquid as b so the first one accounts when a solid is or it dissolves in b when a solid dissolves in a liquid this is the first type of solubility we're going to discuss about so when this a dissolves in b the particles of A <coughs> get inside B and increase the concentration of the solution. In other words, when A dissolves inside B, it increases the concentration of A plus B. Okay, so A plus B is increased, and this process is also known as dissolution. Okay, so you can name it as dissolution okay so but at the temperature a particular point is reached when no more of a that is a solid can be added in b that is a liquid this state is known as the saturated state and this state a plus b is known as the a saturated solution so why this happens okay you know that at a particular temperature at a particular temperature what happens that when this A is dissolving inside the liquid it's not dissolving at once the small particles first dissolve inside this okay so when these dissolve in inside this they collide with this and get separated and form crystals okay they form slight small crystals and this process is known as crystallization so this is known as crystallization this forming of crystals and this is known as dissolution when A dissolves inside B and it forms and it increases the concentration of the solution A plus B okay so when the rate of now when the rate of this is in dynamic equilibrium with this that is the rate of crystallization is in equilibrium with a rate of dissolution at this state this particular state no more solute can be added inside the solution okay at this at this state this is known as a saturated solution so that's it and the second part includes when a gas dissolves inside the liquid be sure to check that out